Welcome to part 16 of the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time playthrough. Provided by World of Long Plays. This is Ron Moore along with Lady Zelda and Mexico. Hey! It's good to be here. It's good to be ECW. Always. Alright, so now we're in the ECW temple. I'm dreaming of a white ECW. Link is tired of li living in his in his own shadow. <laughs> and the shadow of Zelda, because Zelda gets to be in the title of the game, not Link. No Ooh. confusion there, though, right, kids? I hope not. Is, it, <laughs> is this is this the Shadowgate Temple? Oh, hopefully not Shadowgate sixty four. Oh, jeez. Well, I'll be falling asleep then. Right. As will you. Yeah. It's like, I love watching the Shadowgate LPs on the ST2K. It puts me to sleep the first two minutes. Maybe even one. Yeah. ECW Temple. Here is gathered the Hyrule's bloody history of greed and hatred. Yeah, this temple definitely creeped me out a bit when I first entered it. Oh, well, you're not the only one. What was it about I'm looking at it right now. Or what was it about it that creeped you out? Now, what was it about you? <laughs> Uh, it, Stephen King's it. Tim Curry. I remember Bill G's cartoon where he had, an, he had an idea in his head. The word it hit him on his forehead and he goes, It hit me! Oh. I remember that cartoon. Oh no. This enemy again. No! Don't go! No, I'm joking. <laughs> no! Don't go! See, Ron could have been in the, res the original Resident Evil. Well, anybody could have done that with the voice acting. Um, uh, the bar was pretty low. Yeah, it was set pretty low. This, no, oh, this bloody guy. This bloody guy's getting on my nerve. Man, I'm glad we're done with the water temple. So am I. Word. To your mother. Word life. Word to your mother, boy. Link's still wearing the water tunic. Ah, uh, good old Link. Oh, you know what would have been he cool? Do you know what would have been cool? A shadow tunic. Ooh. That would have been actually kind of awesome. Hover boots. Oh, these are awesome. Yeah, a shadow tunic. And you can, like, kind of become Shadow Link or something in certain parts of uh, the Shadow Temple or do certain things in the game. Kind of like you'll be Dark Link, but Shadow Link. And Shadow Link can actually go through walls, not have to use the magic of of uh, Lens of Truth anymore. I'm all down for that. Somebody make a ROM hack. And then the Spirit Temple, the Spirit Tunic. Yes. Where you use that in Spirit Tracks. No. <laughs> <laughs> now you're on the right track. I'm sorry, but my train of thought has derailed. Yeah. You know what would been cool? A hybrid of Metal Gear Solid and The Legend of Zelda. I'm sure Tibbs would love that. Oh, dude, I'd play that. He wouldn't be the only one. Yeah. This the, needs to become a thing. The Legend of Snake. Uh, what would the subtitle be? The Legend of Snake. Uh, Shadow Temple Moses. No, nah, fail. Watch out! Halloween's over. It's Christmas time. What is this? You know, it's been over a year now since we got copyright strike. Seriously? Yeah, and this LP is still going. Holy crap. Well, it's, they kind of got temporarily... Uh, sidetrack because the copyright strike and then I think what the next month January I started again with a uh, world of long place footage and oh, so yeah, that's right. the better so, footage down Phoenix yeah down Phoenix gave me a tip saying hey now, for now on use footage of videos that have the creator commons license because those people really don't care if you use their footage as long as you credit them and world of long place doesn't care as long as you credit them exactly 
So and do I. Use my footage if you feel like it. And Tipster said he used to do the same thing back in the day. Use Creative Commons footage. And even though, I mean, if it's just gameplay with no commentary or editing in it, just a gameplay, it shouldn't be copyright striked and it should be made a big deal as long as you give credit for it. And But try to play it safe. And just use only credit comments footage. I like to use my own, but if it's a game I can't do or whatever, like I don't have uh, really the means quite yet. I don't have a Nintendo 64 console. So, and I don't want to play on the emulator because it's just tough with my PS2 controller. So, unless it was Goldeneye. But when I did this LP on the Rom World channel, it was hard because I had a PS2 controller and used the emulator. The controls are very awkward. I can't I even bet. imagine how the controls are. And so, that would be crazy. I mean, I did do Mario 64 LP on the Rumble Channel a while back, and after ah oh, fail. Bum 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 bum. And I guess after that, I was like, yeah, I need to. If I'm gonna uh, do any more footage of 64 games, I I either need need to get a 64 controller with my PC when playing on the emulator, or get a Nintendo 64. Because I do have a capture card and just figure out how to hook it up that way using the actual 64. But yeah, I would rather do my own footage. But if I can't, use Creative Commons and give credit because they won't really care. Yeah, and people don't realize sometimes it's hard to get your own footage. Like you said, you have to do everything capture card and you have to play the game. Hopefully, it's a good playthrough and it's not like mine where I die a whole bunch of times. <laughs> It don't, it don't have to be perfect gameplay, but, I mean, yeah, uh, I, oh, Link almost had it. The hover boots didn't hover enough. What were you thinking, Link? What, are you I dumb? Know, I know I've seen plenty of, um, gameplay, though, where, like, the person dies a whole crap ton of times, but they're just like, ah, oh, it's okay, you know, I'm just having fun, blah, 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 let's just move on to this. Yeah, I saw Metal Gear Solid 2 LP, and I'm not talking about mine. But uh, I saw an LP of Metal Gear Solid 2 where someone was dying a lot and they got spotted by the Marines in the beginning and the tanker. And that's so me because I got spotted several times because I haven't played the game in so long. It was fun though. Do it. I had more fun doing my own footage. But man, I loved it. Um, I still enjoy the LP of Twilight Princess on this channel. But the, I, don't, I don't know though the footage I used if it's Creative Commons or not. I just hope no one gets mad and says, Oh, I didn't give you permission. Even though I gave him credit and takes that down, because that's like one of the top LPs on the channel. Mommy! Not me! <laughs> uh oh, the mummy's return. Oh no. The uh, remake? I, I didn't never seen it. Oh, they, really? They, wait, there's a remake of The Mummy Returns? Or The Mummy? I think so. Or is it called just the mummy or something? There's like the that? mummy, something the mummy like returns, that. and then the third one, which I didn't see. I thought that. Well, Hollywood's remaking all kinds of movies. I wouldn't be surprised if they did. Link's wearing his green tunic again. He's got to be in tunic with his surroundings. They got the compass bank. Without a shadow of a doubt, this dungeon is creepy. Anybody else here creeped out, or is it just me? I'm creeped out that you still haven't continued your LP of Resident Evil Chronicles. Umbrella oh, Chronicles. Man. That's there you go. That you still have two more parts for that. Your girlfriend's gonna be like, hurry up already, get it done. Get done, get good. Call me crazy, but I love the ambience of this temple. Yeah, me too. I was gonna say, uh, oh, I was gonna say, uh, the longest running LP on the channel is not mine, but Mexico's uh, Umbrella Chronicles. <laughs> and there's only two more parts left. I'm like, dang it, yeah. one of these days. Yeah. One of these days. I like the To Catch a Predator Chronicles by Mr. GG. GG. I'll post one of those in the link in the description box, unless I forget. It's the guy that commentates over the. Dateline NBC Chris Hansen uh, to catch a predator investigations a while back. Oh god, that's gonna be hilarious. Oh, it freaking is hilarious. The way he roasts those predators. 
There's one guy that had a man bun at the top on the top of his head. Oh god. And uh Chi Chi goes, You look like Mortal Kombat gave up. Shane Asung, why the long face? Your head looks like a cookie Ooh. jar. Face ass. <laughs> no, the bomb no, no, use the bomb, use the hook shot. There you go. Nice. So having never made it this far, or you know, seeing this for the first time, it's uh, pretty interesting. If you can like beat how these, how far did you make it? Yeah, how far did you make it? Uh, right before the water. Oh uh, yeah, water temple right before there, and then I just gave up. Yeah, if you can beat these two guys, you've really made it. Skip Rogers giving Goblin uh, double dragon tips last night on the live stream. Oh. <laughs> The return of the J-Man! I'm joking. <laughs> 20, 20, 20, something. 20, 20. I can see that happen because I have 20, 20 vision. Ooh! I do not. So if you have the lens of truth, you have more than 20, 20 vision. You have the sixth sense. I see dead people. Oh! I think he's about to be dead because he's getting hit by the... Skullchilla. Come on, Link. Do something. Skull Waltula. Skull Waltula. Skull Waltula. Skull Waltula. <laughs> now I gotta see that. I knew someone. Come on, Link. I knew someone. The last name Toops. <laughs> Link can't do it. Nobody can. Link 2020. Yeah. Vice President Navi. Ooh. With Zelda First Lady. Lady Zelda First Lady Zelda. <laughs> That used to confuse me when I was a kid. I was like, First Lady Eve was the First Lady. Eve. Yeah. And like they show, they call Miss Elizabeth the First Lady of Wrestling. I'm like, nah, there's like Mildred Burke and Mae Young way before her. Like, how is Miss Elizabeth the First Lady? Misleading title. Lying to us. Clickbait, yeah. I see what clickbait you did there. Clickbait before clickbait. Cause Miss Elizabeth is the first lady, oh yeah. I walked to my Snap into a Slim Jim. I walked to my local stripe store today. They're selling Slim Jims like usual, but it's, it's they're showing the Macho Man again. I'm like, did he come back Say to life what? or something? I mean, this is cool. Don't get me wrong, but wow, I'm surprised. It shows the Macho Man. He goes step into it, and it shows the Macho Man holding up Slim Jims. It's like a newer, not the old Macho Man um, back then. It's like a newer design or. I don't know if they, it's art. I forgot, I'm gonna pay attention to it. If it's a, a new art design of Macho Man, it's like, oh, cool. I wonder if uh, I don't know the, if the Poffo family gave Slim Jim the rights to do that and to honor the memory of Macho Man and then get royalties from that. I don't know. Uh, that's a possibility that could that could happen. Yeah. Seems plausible. All the funds go to the Muscular Dystrophy Foundation because I remember he used to do something with that. Um. There was one kid he was that was being interviewed by me and Gene. He was like a kid with muscular dystrophy in a wheelchair, I think, and Macho Man was trying to give him the talk and the little kid was just so nervous, didn't know what to say, and I kinda of felt bad for the kid, but you know, Macho Man and me and Gene, they're pros. They knew how to handle it. Yeah, kid, it would be a different story. I would be like, uh no. <laughs> Yeah. Remember the commercial we did? Donate to help my my pals with muscular dystrophy to help donate to my pals. Well, Link stumped here. Come on, Link. What's wrong? Are you dumb? <laughs> Are you dumb? No, no, I was trying to get the hearts here. 
What about the ECW tunic? Two thumbs up. Alright, thanks, Disco. Oh, yeah, this part. Oh, man, these freaking uh, Stalfos guards. Oh, I forgot what they're called. Leave Link alone. Leave Link alone. Oh. Leave him alone. <laughs> and how effing dare you talk bad about Zelda? That's what she's been through. Oh, no. Oh, no, indeed. Leave Zelda alone. Oh god! <laughs> Somebody should do that video. Back then when I first saw that, I go, what is that woman's problem? And someone told me, that's a dude. Oh. Yeah, I was the same way too. I was like, man, what the hell? I was like, what? Some fans are kind of uh, overly zealous, but you know. I heard he said something uh, that was really funny to me one time. Someone told me that he said, you know how people go, man, that's gay. Whenever there's something that they don't like. Oh, that's gay. Oh, okay. And he goes, I wish people stopped saying, oh, that's gay, like it's a bad thing. How about, how would you like if I said, oh, that's straight? Because the straight people that be effing stuff up. <laughs> I say that's straight all the time. Yeah. Oh, man, that's straight. I don't want to watch that movie. That movie's straight. What was the slang term we used back in the day? If something was good? Yeah, dude, that's, that's straight. So if you're not you can't straight, use straight as a good as a good word. So if you're not straight but gay, so you're crooked then? Like what? I don't know. Oh, oh. crooked politicians. Yeah. Mexico will be censored on this video. You can say, uh, "Yeah, I'm feeling nice and gay today," meaning happy. <laughs> you're gay. <laughs> when I was a kid, and someone would be like, "Shut up, Ronnie. You're gay," and I said, "Yeah, I'm happy." What? You're happy that you're gay? What? <laughs> I'd oh, be telling well, that guy, go grab a dictionary and look up that word. Maybe so. Maybe I'm gay that I'm gay. And then, the 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 cream, Ben Gay. Oh. <laughs> when we were kids, like, Ben Gay. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Sounds like something Bear would make fun of. Yeah. I like Ben Gay. <laughs> <laughs> that could be a real name too, because there's people with the last name Gay. That oh, could yeah. be someone named Ben Gay. I wonder if that's why he was named after, and he, he created that. I don't know. Well, there's a there's also a name that's called D Gay. So I don't care if it's called Ben Straight. If it works, Ben Straight, I'll buy it. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? We're not gay. Come on, somebody in the comments. Not, 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 not there's anything wrong with that. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I I'm mean, that's fine. That's course. fine if that's who you are. I mean, I have many gay friends. My father's gay. No. <laughs> that was so funny. George Costanza. He's trying to, like, he, not, there's nothing wrong with that. My father's gay. <laughs> oh yeah. Um. It, they should have had an extra scene in that uh, episode where Frank goes, "Why are you saying I'm gay for? You go around telling people I'm gay." And he he. he Hits him in the forehead like he usually does, and then he goes, "No, there's anything wrong with that." <laughs> in some alternate universe, there probably is that. Yeah. Oh, there's Ghost Gochula here in the Shadow Temple. Imagine being imprisoned in this temple. Jeez. I could only imagine. I wouldn't want to imagine. How much would it the, doesn't look very? How much would the bell money be here? How how much in rupees? How real how, how real bell bonds? <laughs> they sure have that in Zelda game. One eight hundred bail bond. You got to bail people out of jail, and you do you get awarded with a, like a hard piece, or do they help you in the journey? Nice. Surprised they didn't do that Majora's Mask for that freaking bank when you invest your rupees or whatever the heck you were doing with that kid, um, always slapping his lap every time. Something's he, wrong. With yeah, him. yeah. Avi GM was making fun of that. Like, imagine going to the bank and the bank teller keeps moving their hands up and down like that when you're trying to deposit money in your account. Yeah, I think I'd go somewhere else then. Right, yeah. Forgot about that. The angry video game nerd did it. Yep. Oh, no. Oh, I thought it was going to get squashed by the spikes line. What are you doing? Watch out for the spikes. Yeah. The point's rather sharp, yeah. Yeah. Man, 
man. <laughs> Alright, I think that's the key. <laughs> really? <laughs> there you go. Yay, the key. Give me the key, give me the key. I remember my friend was wearing a, a key around his neck, his house key, I guess. And it's one of those cousins looked at him and said, Man, shut your key to my heart looking. <laughs> oh. Key to my heart, and you're to blame. Wait. No, I remember having a key around my neck. My mom said, Don't lose this key, or else you're not going to be able to get inside the house. Yeah. I'd be like, Oh. And then she said, Don't go around keying anybody's car. I'm like, oh, man, God. What's, right. the, yeah. what's the purpose of this key then now? <laughs> yeah. Alright, going through the dough? The dough. Oh, jeez. That's straight. I, I remember this part. The freaking retreads. <laughs> bunch of. Bunch of. Bunch of. <laughs> Oh, bear, come here! Oh, oh god, god, that's creepy. Probably, uh, someone will probably record themselves yawning and then slowed it down. I remember in the movie, in the movie Ghost, when those black demons take, uh, that murderer and then, uh, his old friend to hell. And you hear the you hear them go uh, when they come up from the ground. Remember that? All too well. That was actually actual recordings of babies crying, but slow down. Mm, even more creepier now that I think about it. Yeah. You see W. The ECW on TNN. <laughs> well, better than ECW on Safa. Oh, yeah. ECW on TNN. They did ECW like. They treated them like garbage. Yeah, that was horrible. I mean, it was still a fun show to watch one hour every Friday, but they didn't do anything to promote it or nothing. Like, they just treated ECW like garbage and. I uh, personally put it on Friday night, which I enjoyed watching on Friday night, but, you know, Friday nights you don't get good ratings because people are out and about. So it wasn't prime time, and TNN just didn't care, and I think they more so cared about Rock and Bowl and Rotor Jam. Oh, yeah. And I don't, I don't know what, what is up with ECW, whether it be the original or the WWE version, they can't find a good network home. First, in 1999, the real ECW is on TNN. That's a country music station. What the heck? The um, Nashville Network, in case nobody knows. And then, um... ECW 2006 on Sci-Fi? Yeah, that hit me too. I'm like, why is it on Sci-Fi? What are they going to do next? Are they going to bring back ECW again for the Hallmark Channel? I mean, what the heck? <laughs> well, that, your guess is as good as mine. They probably could do that. ECW on Hallmark. <laughs> and they have storylines where it's a, a woman who is a career woman who's too busy to find a lover and then all of a sudden meets the man of her dreams. What? And there by Story. chance ECW, ECW. ECW! The real ECW! Yeah. Not the one on the Hallmark Channel. Yeah. Oh, there's a key. They put it on Hallmark Channel. That sounds worse, the worst of all. I might rather watch it on sci fi. Oh man, I, I still never got why they put it on sci-fi, but I don't know. Sci-fi, you just see, see these weird movies that absolutely suck. Yeah.
There's Link's biggest fan. Yeah. About to enter Airman's domain. And now a word from our sponsor, Jeff, who's asleep. Hey guys, Jeff here with uh, Games Time, and check out my store, Jeff's Electronics, located in, in Illinois. You get a 10% discount if you just type in ZZZZZ. <laughs> 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 oh my god. If you're today, I'll get you this, I'll throw in this free sleeping aid for free, the Shellgate 64 LP on the S2K channel. Oh god. Because it would have been better on the Saturn. No, it probably wouldn't. I think it's Jeff so one time said Super Metroid would have been better on the Genesis. No, it wouldn't. It would have been better on the Xbox One. Xbox One just came out. No, I'm joking. How about yeah. Metroid Metroid Other M on the Switch? No, I don't think Tibbs are like that. I remember when mm. the Xbox One did come out and people were going cuckoo over it. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs? <laughs> yep. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Next thing you know, it's all about them fruity pebbles. Yeah. The eye has to be open, doesn't it? Or what's going on here? I mean, the eye has to be open. No, wait, I don't think you need to shoot that eye. I forgot what to do here. I see what you did there. Jeez, I get tired of seeing these re-deads. I see dead people. It's beginning to look a lot like re-deads. Yeah. Everywhere you go. It's beginning to look a lot like ECW. And I don't mean... 2019, you're in review. Yeah. By Ron Moore. I don't mean the ECW dis December to December uh, 2006. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Let's pretend that never existed. Right, yeah. But unfortunately, it does. That's what led to Paul Heyman leaving the company for six years. It was so bad, Paul just had to get out of there. Oh, here we go. Here we go now. Uh oh. It's the Yeti! The Yeti's here! The Yeti? <laughs> oh, right ahead. Like, what's going on? Yeah. What's the deal with that? <laughs> Man, all that for that? Come on. <laughs> Boo! Boo! No, okay. Yeah, right? So J Man would say, Boo! Are yeah, they saying. Man does a better boo. Are they saying boo? No, they're saying boo earns. Boo earns! Boo earns! Boo earns! Good old Smithers. Yeah. Oh god, I love Smithers. Yeah. Smithers? Who is this dolt? Uh, it's Homer Simpson, sir. <laughs> that was one of my favorite LPs on J Men's channel was the Simpsons arcade game. I think you and Bear were on that too. Yeah. Do you remember the episode where Mr. Burns got shot? Who did you think it was? Well, back in the day? Shoot, I thought it was Marge. No, not Marge. Someone said Smith. No, Jody says Smithers, but then his cousin's like, "No, nah, that'd be too obvious." No, I thought it was somebody like, I don't know. And it turns out it was Maggie. <laughs> yeah, it was one of the Simpsons. And uh, do you see the uh, outtake? Or oh, it, it was a joke, but it was like an outtake. They say it was Mr. Smithers, but and Mr. Oh, Burns yeah. goes, "Because of that, I'm going to give you a two percent pay cut." And Smithers goes, no. I mean, that's not bad. I mean, considering like he shot the, if, you know, he shot the guys. So I know that's a joke. Can, 
Yeah, that's a joke. <laughs> it's hilarious. You only get a 2% uh, docking from your game. Yeah. Wait, what? What's going back down for? Uh, what's going on? He forgot something. Or did he? No, he did. It's like I never know what's going on in this game. It's just, it's just baffling because I never got to this. I never got to this point in the game. Will I ever? Probably not. Yeah. Here we go on the ferry. The ferry. Creepy. Creepy pasta. Yeah. I mean, well, I suppose if you put it in a Halloween costume, then it would be creepy pasta. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, the ship is sinking. Abandon the ship. Get out to the <laughs> yeah. Abandon WCW. <laughs> Big Show was smart. He abandoned that sinking ship before it went down. Oh yeah. Oh man. Okay, use the lens of BCW here to get to this maze. Just the master hands, the wall masters. So where were you the day WCW died? I was at home watching it. <laughs> we had just got Direct TV that week, and I was like, "All right, I'm gonna finally get to watch WCW." And then it was the last episode. I'm like, "Damn it!" Jeez, yeah. And then, of course, you see Shane McMahon, and you're like, what the hell's going on? Yeah. I mean, I, I wasn't totally surprised when I saw Vince appear on Nitro with, when it opened, but because I did hear on the hotline that w WWF bought it. And then uh, I saw Vince on Nitro. I was like, oh, what the heck? Okay, yeah, that's right, he bought it. So I wasn't totally surprised. I can imagine the people that did not know better Nacho, they do the opening, the opening uh, thing, the Nacho logo, and then Vince McMahon is like, what the heck? Total shocker there for people who didn't see that coming. Yeah. <laughs> Creepy laugh, I'm out of here. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, yeah. Ouch, Evil laugh, I'm scared. Chicken! <laughs> or would he be a cougar? Go Coco cu cu for Cocoa Puffs. No word from our sponsors. Cocoa Puffs. Kakariko Fried Chicken.
Ah. Dang it. Man, it's so frustrating right here. You're trying to make it in there. And you gotta hurry up too to blow up in your face. There you go, there's one. Uh, do you only need to blow up one to get the key? The right one? Come on, Mexico. You know about Zelda more than anybody here. Tell us what's going on. Oh yeah, I know the least about the least amount about Zelda. The only one I ever beat was uh, the second one for the regular <laughs> Nintendo. Yeah, I wish Tibbs could be in these commentaries again. Tibbs would be like, "Wait, Mexico, I'll tell you exactly what's going on." You see right here, you gotta you gotta destroy that to get the key, and then go to the boss. Once upon a time, there was a Zelda game. <laughs> it was very fun and adventurous. So there's a helicopter flying around. I just want to go outside real quick and yell, No! Don't! Go! Hey, yeah. <laughs> and the helicopter come back. I'm like, oh, shoot. Hey, hey actually, listen to you. <laughs> I always used to joke with Jeff about that. I was like, man, if you flew off in that helicopter, don't you think you would have been fired? All right. For deserting everybody? And Jeff's like, you got a good point there. But they're in Raccoon City, so... No, he yeah. wouldn't be fired. I wouldn't yeah. be surprised if you got a promotion. ECW City. ECW City actually sounds nice. Yeah. What's this? Oh, Scarecrow Man. Hmm. Interesting. I thought he retired after the Wizard of Oz. Must be his son. <laughs> his son? He's like, you gotta get a job. Go yeah. beyond Zelda. So, true story, during the middle of this commentary, I heard my phone go off, and it was a potential spammer calling saying, your social security number has been disabled. I'm like, man, that's stupid. I and, hate and, that. And sent the 880 to Shelly. To Shelly. Who? No, I'm joking. There's a Hoax Hotel video where it's like a social security scam call, talking about his social security has been compromised or something. Yeah, that's kind of what mine is. My, so, supposedly, I guess it's disabled, so if I go try to get a job or anything, it's not going to work. I'm like, uh, that doesn't sound very convincing. Yes, so if you want to get the job, make sure to send the 880 to Shelly and we restore your social security card. Send the money here. Send the money here. How am I supposed to send the money? I can't even get a job. No, 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 no. Just just go to the 880 and your bank, 880 your bank account and send the 880. <laughs> It's all, what? No, I'm joking. <laughs> well, I have to get a job first, but I can't get a job. I have a social security card, you said, so I'm supposed to pay. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Just get a job and then send the money. Ow. But you can't get a well, job, if I though. get a That's job, does that mean up. my social security's not disabled, then? Yeah. <laughs> You're disabled. You're mentally disabled. Now shut up and listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to... Shut up! Shut up! Be very clear of your instructions. Shut, shut. Do you want? To, do you want me to cancel your transaction? No, no, don't cancel the transaction. You, are you dumb? Are you dumb? No, no, I'm just uh disabled here. No, I'm disabled apparently. Oh, look at this. This is cool. Or hot, rather. This is very uh. hot. Proceed with caution. Uh oh. <laughs> Oh, look at that. 
About to get the Sasha Banks key. Just forget about him and get the key. Come on, Link. Come on, get the key. Get the key already. That's what we've been waiting for this whole entire time for you to just pick up that key. You see that? He got the magic potion bottle. Oh, wait, no, there's the boss key. Step one, get the key. Step two, go find his car. Key is car. The end. No, no. One, get the key. Two, get the key. Three, get the key. What about four? <laughs> get the boss key. <laughs> there you go. Damn it, I already forgot the second step. I'll tell you what, if Link op opens up the wrong treasure chest, he's gonna open up a can of whoop ass. <laughs> Oh, he perfect. may open up treasure chest while I open up a can of whoop ass, and that's the bottom line. As of this recording, the happy Stone Cold said so. As of this recording, happy 55th birthday, Stone Cold. Exactly. Oh man, I can't wait to check out the SC2K 2019 year in review. Right. No, it did happen to 2019. This year blew by. It yeah. Did, Goodbye to the decade. Yeah. Good riddance. Hey, you know, I actually saw this thing online someplace that um, people were just like, hey, we had the 1920s and we're going to have another roaring 20s again. Let's do it like a 20s revival. And I'm like, dude. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Never going to happen. Whoa, what jeez, what? E C W E C W E C W E C W E C W E C W E C W E C W on Hallmark. Bongo but he hit that bongo hard. And now a word from our sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> Brought to you by uh <laughs> um, um, dang, what's that store called? Not Guitar Hero, Guitar Center. But they sell drums as well. <laughs> Drum Center. Didn't sound as good as Guitar Center. Yeah. ECW Center. No, Alright, hopefully our sponsors are alright with that. They're like, damn it, you botched the whole sponsor thingy. Because yeah. The bongo Bongo, though, I couldn't imagine getting shot in the hands of any eye repeatedly. <laughs> Step one was get the key. Step two was get the key. Step three was... Damn it, I know this. Yeah. Nope, I don't. I forgot. Get the knife. Get the key! That's not a knife. This is a knife. That's not a knife. That's a key. That's not a key. This is a key. <laughs> You're killing me, small. The there you go. Carry marathon. E C W E C W E C W E C W E C W. -E okay. I would love it if we had a version where as, instead of like what you usually hear, it was replaced with Ronnie saying that. <laughs> yeah. I died. <laughs> Whoa. So Ronnie did a whole commentary video of just saying E C W. Yeah. Life. Yeah. Welcome to Lake E C W. Now you know those videos where it says, like, it keeps looping the same thing over and over for, like, 10 hours? Just a video oh. of me of ECW chants for 10 hours on YouTube. Yeah, there's, like, all kinds of those videos online. I seen one that was, like, The Price is Right, The Losing Horn, like, 10 hours straight of that. I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah, we're ready. But, but who could listen to that for 10 hours straight, though? Me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's plenty of freaking 
videos out there or whatever where it just repeats, 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 and I'm like, man, why didn't I think of that? I would have got a bunch of views. Yeah. So after I'm after I'm done, I'm gonna go watch one of those videos for ten hours. <laughs> Fall asleep in the first ten minutes. Watch well, Shogate 64 for ten hours. Oh god, I don't think it's possible anybody can make it through like one ep one uh one video, let alone the whole LP. I've actually heard of some people putting those ten hour videos on. They're like, oh, I went onto YouTube on my laptop or phone or whatever, and I like pulled up this ten hour long video and I slept through it or whatever. Yeah. Oh man. I don't blame ya. Now Impa is a, a sage now. There's the last stream. I don't know if it's fake or not, but the last stream where he fell asleep during the Majora's Mask playthrough and the moon fell and it was game over. Oh crap. That that's gotta be hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> they were typing the chat, dude, wake up! Wake up! Wake up! You're playing Majora's Mask! Wake up! You're streaming Majora's Mask, not Shadowgate 64. <laughs> I think Jeff was streaming that night. Oh man, welcome to Jeff's stream. Oh, yeah. We're about to get started. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Pimpa now tells Link the six wise ones will seal up the evil king and return peace to Hyrule. Do you got that, Link? Or do we need to repeat that? No, Mr. Owl. Now go lick a Tootsie Roll Pop or something. But how many licks, how many licks does it take to get to the center? How many licks does it take for you to shut up? Um, twelve. <laughs> one, <laughs> two, a three. A one, a three. <laughs> the shadow yeah, medallion. I've seen that commercial. Oh, the ECW medallion. medallion. Now on sale. Right from the ECW temple. Get your medallion for nineteen ninety nine. Yeah. Plus tax and shipping. And it's so shiny too. I'm wearing mine right now. Right. <laughs> All right. So that's the end of part sixteen of Ocarina of Time. See you guys in part seventeen of this ECWLP. Until then, God bless. And take care. See ya. Be there or be square. What about triangle?